Hey, you guys. I'm here. I'm grab some tea. I'm excited about this. I'm going to wait for Chelsea to hop on and maybe see a few of you guys join us. But we are doing, I am doing a fun recipe today. I hope your Wednesday is just swell. Mine has been pretty good. When the sun is out, hey, chill. When the sun is out, I'm always feeling better. So this is a huge difference <laughs> from last week. Here I am. Um, so I'm excited about today's recipe because this is a recipe that I talk about in my podcast, Smidgen. And Smidgen season three is launching very soon. So I wanted to cook a recipe that coincides with what we talk about on the podcast. But even though that episode isn't out right now, there's two seasons for you to catch up on. So be sure to click over to Smidgen Podcast and give it a listen because I ramble on about food and my shop and teaching cooking classes with Catherine, my producer, and it's so much fun. So we did an episode on food trends. So I love at the beginning of the year how all the food trends come out, the different magazines and websites set up what our new techniques, our new flavors, the new hot topics are going to be. And I love reading them all. And I, we, Catherine and I sat down and talked about food trends. I sort of like called several of them from different sources and talked about them because I get such inspiration from what the other folks are saying the food trends are going to be. So one of the food trends for this year is a smash burger. And this burger is super simple and made me chuckle. Well, first of all, smash burger is a place. It's a, it's a franchise and they make wonderful burgers. And so lots and lots of folks are emulating those burgers and Bon Appetit said, this is the burger to make this year. That big, thick, juicy burger, forget about it for a minute. We're going in another direction. So smash burgers are not new to me because this is how my mother made a burger in my childhood because she was trying to stretch a pound of ground beef. Um, so it's not really new to me, but it is absolutely delicious. Okay, so what I have is a pound of ground beef and I have seasoned it with something that makes no sense at all until you taste it, and that's barbecue shrimp seasoning. It is my go-to for burgers, meatloaf, meatballs. When the creator of this, Marty, who makes this for us, he's in Walker, Louisiana. When Marty said, Anne, put it in a burger, I was like, well, why'd you call it barbecue shrimp seasoning? And um, it is wonderful in barbecue shrimp. I love barbecue shrimp. Um, but it is fantastic in burgers. So it's, you can see it's big and PC, lots of big herbs, onion, garlic, chilies, all in there. And what's cool about it, it's great in a burger because you like all those big pieces in there, but it's also salt free. So you control the salt. And I love that about it. It's nice and spicy. And what I've done, this is Iverstein's ground beef, and it's an 80-20. You need some fat. You need like a ground chuck in your meat. And I've taken a pound and used two tablespoons barbecue shrimp seasoning. And I've divided it. You have two choices. So you can make quarter pounders, four burgers. I did eight. I made four and divided it again because I'm gonna put two little patties on one burger, completely up to you. I've seen it both ways, as a quarter pound or two 
eight pounds. I got that. Um, totally your choice. Um, so I've got them rolled into balls and they're going to go into my very hot skillet. As a matter of fact, I saw it a moment ago smoking. So I managed my heat because I don't want that to happen, but we need it nice and hot. And I'm going to go in with just a little bit of fat. You don't need a ton, but I'm going to use our caramelized onion, avocado oil, because I do need a high heat oil when I'm in a skillet that's this hot. And I'm going to go in with two of my eighth pound burgers. Oh, you have to have that sound. That's a requirement. So down they go. Now we need to smash them. Now, this is where you need some ingenuity. So a solid spatula, pancake turner works best, especially if you have a heavy one. I don't have one here. So I've got my fish spatula and I'm gonna use that, but you need that solid spatula, a piece of parchment, and we're gonna press and we need some weight on top of it. So you can go like this or I have like this, but we wanna smash it and I'm gonna have to turn, but with your pancake turner, you're gonna have a good angle. So the main thing is you wanna get it thin, like really thin. And you're like, but wait, wait, hold up. The food world, look how thin it is. Let me do this. The food world has told us, stop pressing on your burgers. But the thing about this burger is that it cooks so fast, you're not really pressing out all the juices. You're just making it nice and thin and so that the edges get crispy. So super thin, let me turn this and get another angle. And now they are thin and the edges are gonna get crispy. So two really thin burgers, press on them. We want them to get really, really crispy on the edges and then, whoops, here I am. Really crispy on the edges and very distinctly golden brown. I have a couple things to do while this is happening. First of all, I want to, and look, you're gonna need that pancake turner to flip these because you they're really gonna be stuck, but you wanna bring all of that with it. So now what I want to do is lower this heat a little bit. I'm going to toast the buns. So you can do this in the oven, toaster oven, but I'm going to toast the buns with a little bit of butter and get that going. So here are my buns. Nothing really special. Just your garden variety hamburger bun. You get those toasting. Right, got those down in there doing their thing, getting warm. And then I'm going to, oh, that barbecue shrimp seasoning is salt free. So on the up facing side of the patty, salt and pepper, a little bit more black pepper. Then we are off to the races. Okay, so this, Traditional smash burger has a sauce. I've seen it as just mayo and mustard or mayo, mustard, and ketchup, and then relish. So I'm gonna take it a little bit of a different way. And I do have mayo, mustard, and ketchup, but instead of relish, I'm gonna do this pickled, these pickled jalapenos. It's a sweet jalapeno relish from Woods Foods. They're here in Baton Rouge and sometimes they're at the farmer's market and they're adorable and you should go meet them because they're the cutest thing ever. And we sell the heck out of this stuff. Look, we put this on cheese boards. People are like, what just happened in my life? It's so good. Okay, so here I come with that spatula to get that flipped. 
that's gorgeous. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. You're gonna work that spatula underneath there, get that loosened up, turn them. Now we can lower our heat. Get the heat lowered and then cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna let you decide. I'm using shredded sharp cheddar and you do want it to fall off the edges. You want all of that cheese to get crispy on the edges and melt on the top, but lots and lots of folks. I'm actually turning my skillet off because I have enough residual heat in this stove skillet that I love so much to cook these through. So my heat is off. If I were even a little more nervous, you could just move it from the burner, but I've got enough residual heat there. Okay, back to the cheese. So purist, and I'm here for purist, you guys, but I'm also here for whatever you like. Look at these buns. Come on. They say American cheese, you know, sliced American cheese, which a lot of people say that is not cheese. That's not real. Um, and but a lot of people say a slice of American cheese is the only way to do it because it's going to melt completely. But look, I'm not concerned about what's not melting here because that's still gonna be a delicious bite. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat off on my buns and just kind of let them keep doing their thing. But that is magical. Okay, so now I need a little spatula. And I've got, I did a little bit more mayo than mustard and ketchup. You can do equal parts. This is where you just let your creativity fly and make that sauce your own. Okay, I've got that mixed up. I'm gonna go in with a couple of teaspoons of the jalapeno relish. That's lovely. Get that mixed up. And you just made secret sauce. Okay, so that burger sauce is ready to go. I, traditionally, they do, here I am. But, um, traditionally, they do pickles and iceberg, and I'm just fine with that. So I've got my iceberg. I've got pickles. So you can use the pickles that are in your fridge. You can also go to our website and find one of our many pickle recipe, quick pickle recipes, fridge pickles. Find one of those many recipes. We quick pickle red onions. We quick pickle carrots. Take those brines and do a thin sliced English cucumber. And in a couple of hours, you've got a pickle. Come on. We can do that. Okay. Toasty bun. What? And then I'm going to go sauce on the bottom. And again, we're going to be talking about this with all the other food trends in our, on our podcast smidgen, me and Catherine, you need to listen to it because I invented a trend and it's really good and you should listen to it. Um, so definitely go to your favorite podcast app. You can find us on Stitcher, Apple podcast, um, Spotify, all of them, whichever one you use, search smidgen, listen to season one and two, super fun. We have cooking videos that go along with them, just like this one. Okay. I've got iceberg. I've got my sauce. Let's do some pickles. Got these homemade pickles. And then those two smash burger patties. Everything We've been talking about with burgers for the past 10 years. We just changed. Yes, press on the hamburger and get some delicious flavor. But it cooks so fast that you're not concerned about pressing all the juices out, which is what we've been talking about for years. Okay, when folks aren't looking, I have great manners on Facebook. 
Facebook Live. It's what I work on before I go live. But you could eat all these little brown crispies out of the skillet. That would be fine with me. Okay, I'm stalling a little bit because I'm gonna burn the roof of my mouth with this burger, but I'm gonna take a bite of a smash burger. I want you to make one. I wanna hear all about it. Eight burgers, patties from a pound of ground beef, and you're there super fast with just a, that you have these pantry staples for this secret sauce, and you're gonna make these tonight. Smash burgers, Reagan. So good. Look at it. Come on. Come on. How fun is that? And I get to sit with a microphone and talk about this stuff. That's so exciting. I'm taking a bite. Mm -mm. Oh, it's so good. Y'all, pickled jalapenos. Do it. Put it in your sauce. So good. How fun is this? This is the best Wednesday night supper ever. Oh, so fun. I'm taking another bite. Mm. Mm. Okay. Talking to you guys with my mouth full, like I do. Super delicious. Listen to me talk to, talk about these on Smidgen. Catch up with Smidgen. Two seasons ready to go. Make a smash burger. Let me know how it goes. I love doing this. Thank you guys. Bye.